Hey guys, what's up? Man, that's crazy. Oh, okay, there you go. You guys our viewers list didn't update till just now. <clears throat> Oh, hey, no problem. With my work schedule, I've been getting up at 2.45 in the morning anyway, so getting up at 4.30, I'm actually sleeping in a little bit. <laughs> but good thing I set my alarm this morning because it woke me up. I was very tired. Okay. Well, let's get some XCOM loaded here. Just realized I forgot to load another piece of the program. Where is it at? There it is. So yeah, the, the screen is supposed to be black right now. So don't worry about that. Oh, not that. <laughs> All right. This is going to be interesting this morning. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Wrong key, sorry. Right, is that looking alright to you guys? Alright, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out real quick, folks. Um, with 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 full screen, my mouse is, or cursor is stuck on the game. I want to see if I can keep it windowed and um, see if it runs fine. Uh, it still has a trap. That's weird. All right, let's just go back. Oh, there we go. Borderless window. Awesome. All right, can you guys see that?
black screen. <clears throat> okay. Let me try this. Uh, yeah, maybe it will. Let me see. Well, there you go. I can just do this. You guys can see that all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Good deal. Good job, Firaxis. I love you guys. Alright. So you guys up for some multiplayer? <clears throat> oh, there we go. Hey, Zaren. Yeah, I'm sorry if I don't uh, if I don't recognize your guys' Twitch names from your YouTube and all that, nor if I remember it. But I'm still glad you guys are watching. Well, that's cool, Silver Priest. Hopefully someday you'll be able to get it. I'm going to try something real quick. <clears throat> well, why don't I uh, warm you guys up with a quick match here. Or try to at least. A lot of times trying to make a game just doesn't work out. Now this squad right here, I haven't had a chance to try. Uh, I was going to try it, but the quick match system broke down and oh, excuse me I uh, I couldn't try it so I just went and started playing impossible again <laughs> yeah I, I really like having a sniper like that but um, the last game I played I only had two people and I got beat in like five minutes it was really really sad uh, my other guy had ghost armor and I didn't use Ghost on my second turn. And he ended up dying in one shot. It was crazy. It was like a 16 damage critical hit. And then all I had left was my sniper. And he had like two guys <laughs> that were really good. But... I want to see what would happen with drones and stuff as well. Alright, where are we at? Way over here, okay. Um, it, it is kind of heavy on sniper builds. But I've actually seen a lot of people not use snipers. I was really surprised. <clears throat> I had one epic game. I really wish I would have recorded it where 
uh, it was my two guys versus a guy that had, I think, four people. And it was down to our last two guys. And um, I, I came like, I think I came through the building over here. Or I came above it, then dropped down up here. And I killed one guy. And then, like, eventually came over here and surrounded him. And it was it was really awesome. That was a long match, too. <clears throat> yeah, snipers are nice. Especially if you, give, if you give them a little bit of rank. Because then they can shoot at who your, ally, or your other units can see. But then again... Yeah, they're a point sink, so if they don't really do much, or if the enemy gets up pretty quick, uh, you're going to lose points a lot faster. Yeah, plus, if, if I read it right... Uh, having a height advantage gives you more accuracy. So, floating up in the air make your sniper that much more accurate. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm getting like no time to play this game. So, what you guys have seen in my first two episodes um that's actually the farthest I am in the game right now. I finally beat uh, the first mission on Impossible a few days ago. And somehow I didn't lose a soldier doing it. Well, what's this? Overload? Oh, jeez. Uh, that's that's alright. Wow, no Overwatch? Yeah, thank you. It was... Two people got hurt. One for eight days, one for five days. <clears throat> but of course, guess what happens in the second mission? I get slaughtered. Whoa, that's cool. Hmm... Can I get cover up here? Nope. Actually, let's go ahead and come up here. Oh, I gotcha. Thank you. So I'm also letting my son play this because he's, you know, real excited for a game that Dad likes, and uh, he's already found like two or three bugs in this game. It was crazy. I had him start on the tutorial on easy, so he could kind of learn the game. And in one of those missions, it tells you you have to fire a rocket. Well, somehow he makes the guy move. And he finishes that guy's movement and, and actions. And then the game's still saying, you know, fire your rocket. Well, the guy can't. So you can't even end the turn. You can't go to the menu. I had to Alt F4 out of the game. And then he did... Uh, I think it was something on the Geoscape. But now I can't remember what he did. It's crazy. I can't believe the kids already found some <laughs> some very bad bugs. Aha. Well, what was that? Oh, 
That's a pretty good idea with the floaters. Alright, hopefully this is going to be the last time my sniper has to move. Try to get a nice angle back here. Alright, so that guy... Oh, hello. See, he broke in way up here. Hmm. It looks like I can't use cover either. He's gonna wait there. Oh, that's not what I expected. <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess we're going to move back. Is that classified as backseat gaming? No. No, you're good. Um... Let's see. Oh, sectoid. Sorry, I was just checking the viewer list. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. I've heard some people say an ethereal and two sectoids is a pretty good <coughs> unit as well. I tried out an ethereal uh, in one of my early multiplayer games and it was pretty crazy. Alright, he's probably right around here. Let's take a look. Okay, somewhere there. Alright, what do we got here? Soldier. Don't know what he has, though. What are we going to do with Mr. Floater here? Floater number four, what are we doing? I think we're going to come over this way. And just hope he can't detect that guy moving. And... 
So it looks like I have disabling shot. Cool. There you go. I was wondering what was going on. Leaving that sectoid out in the open wouldn't have done too well. <laughs> Drone's taunting him. Drone 3 was killed. No! Uh oh. That looked like a heavy floater? Okay, who are we shooting at here? 21%. 1%. I guess what I could do... Oh, I can't get close enough to self-destruct. Hmm. You know what? Let us take flight. I think I'm going to be a little more concerned about this guy over here for now. And then this guy. Suppression. Ooh, the sectoid's wide open. 65%. Let's go for it. That a floater. And let's go on Overwatch. And you, you're just done. So that way when this floater comes up and the drone sees him, we should get a reaction shot. Well, that's a good point. Wait, where's the Overwatch? Overwatch. That was strange. And now I can't see him. Um, no, I was just trying drones because I had so many points tied into this soldier. Uh, that I needed something that might hopefully be durable and wasn't as like low points as the sectoid. Plus, I just wanted to try them out and see what they were like. All right, I know that's probably silly, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, if you guys notice this, see this little arcade game? 
UFO defense. <laughs> I can't quite see the name, though. I don't even know if it does have a name. But you can see uh, the soldier, and I think there's versus sectoid. It looks like it's designed like a Street Fighter uh, game, but I can't zoom in any more than that. Okay, what's going on over here, guys? Oh, nuts. Well, that's not good. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm going to mute the mic real quick. Alright, I'm back, folks. Chris lit up there, huh? That's what I saw the first time. No! Okay. Well, obviously the best thing to do here is Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting. I don't think I quite like it, though. I don't think it has the damage and the health to do much. Yeah, I agree. It. I was kind of hoping for the additional uh, sight as well and just, you know, victory in numbers, I suppose. But it uh it's not working out. And here I've got one shot left and then I have to reload, which is gonna leave me extremely vulnerable. I was tempted to reload there, but I figured I could at least get one shot off before they kill me. <laughs> but being up here the chrysalid won't be able to get me and that's what's important. I was going to say, where's my overwatch? Ah, oh, so close.
All right. Yeah, that uh, that was pretty good pistol shooting there. Yeah, the chrysalid's about useless. Wait a second. Chrysalid. Is that all he has left? I think that might be all he has left. Alright, let's come down a little bit. Alright, we'll go into Overwatch with the laser pistol. I gotta be careful though, because uh, I can't get close to ledges or anything. Well, I hope that chrysalid can't attack one square up. I didn't think about that. But the chrysalid can jump to any height, I believe. So, I really can't move much either, otherwise I'm dead. <laughs> Good one there, Zaren. Yeah, I... I suppose if you really got good enough, you can kind of guess your opponent's team just by their points, but I don't know about that either. There's just so many different options you can take. I think it'd be real hard to guess teams based on points or whatever, especially if their unit's already made. This uh, this game might get a little interesting now. Hmm. Well, my opponent is not dumb. I'm assuming, considering he took the chrysalid back in. I kind of want to drop back down over here and give myself enough distance and hopefully be able to see through the windows as well. But my guess is they took the chrysalid into some little tiny room with plenty of cover and to where he'll have all kinds of uh, room to run up. Alright, let's see what happens here. One of the bad things in this game is you can't just shoot wherever you want. So, no taking out buildings and stuff. Yeah, landing on a truck would be good, except the chrysalid can get up there as well. I thought about that, but then again, I don't think he's going to come out now. I guess I could keep doing this till the opponent has to leave the game. Because <laughs> I have a couple hours left.
Um, as far as I know, there's no draw option. Nope, I don't see anything. That would be a good feature to add, though. Because really, we both have the advantage. If he tries to come out or try to rush me, technically, I could win because I could just hop back up in the air. If I rush in there, there's no way I'm going to live. For having one character left, he sure is taking his time. That was a mistake. Unless there's a, another alien over there or something. Because he can't attack me. And I'm almost positive I can find an angle right here if I can't shoot now, which I can. Yeah, that's true. And, and then a, another little gripe I have is the inability to chat right here. You can't open the chat dialog and, you know, I'd like to say GG because I didn't know if that was actually the last character. I figured as much, but, well, you know. Um, I don't know if you can. Well, let's see. I haven't done any ranked matches yet. I kind of want to play a little bit more with the units before I actually do something like that. So let's see. Anybody new to chat? Well, we have a couple more people. Any of you new guys up for a game? Or shall I keep doing uh, against random people? Where's this at? So I am looking for something to close. For some reason, this program I was using to do the full screen wouldn't close. There we go. Good old task manager. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and edit this squad real quick. Floater turned out to be pretty decent. So, so far I'm not quite a fan of the drones. So I think we'll go ahead and get rid of those guys. I really, really like having soldiers, though. They're so expensive. If you want a good one. Hmm. Is there anything you guys might want to see that I can try to show off for you? Two thousand three hundred. Oh, I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> yeah, look at this guy. Just a basic soldier with gunner uh, rank. That's 3,050 points. That's already over my total of 10,000. I mean, Gunner gives you some good stuff, but you just have a basic assault rifle. It doesn't do much damage. Yeah, yeah, they are. And Archangels, that armor is not even the most expensive. You still have Ghost Armor and Psy Armor, too. It's just Archangel lets you fly. And that's very good for a sniper. But I did give him, I think that's, okay, the second highest rank. Uh, and the reason why I gave him Agent instead of one of the lower ones, which I was doing before, uh, was because of, I think it was Disabling Shot and... Double tap. And that's, I think that's really awesome. Double tap. That's probably a little OP to be honest. How much armor does the Archangels have? Eight. And uh, no, so far at least you can't use Outsiders. Uh, Titan. Yeah, it gives you 10 health. Uh, oh, and you can't get hurt by fire. Or at least uh, environmental fire. And you're immune to poison. But you're stuck on the ground. Which, you know, if you don't really care about that, that saves you 700 points and gives you more health. <laughs> Sit next to exploded cars, yeah. What's amazing is if you stand, if there's a one square gap between you and the car, even when it explodes, it won't hurt you. I thought that was kind of interesting. So it's like, if you're right next to the car, like in real life, you're going to get hurt. If you're three feet away, oh, you're just fine. Don't worry about it. All right, let's edit this guy real quick. What do I want? Man, I, I really don't know. Assaults are so good, though. Especially, like, I like the uh, plasma rifle and the alloy cannon. Alloy cannon does insane damage. Man, look at that. 
The only problem is it's it's like a shotgun, so you got to get kind of close to have any accuracy. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good point about the uh, exploding cars. Yeah, I was using the light plasma rifle on somebody a couple days ago. It did seem to work pretty well. This damage is crazy for the regular plasma rifle, though. Ah, 2,300 points. Not a whole lot to work with. Hmm. Kind of weary of the thin man. I'm not sure if I like... Let's see. Only three health. No defense. I'm not sure about that. That's a lot of points for a one shot, one kill. Yeah, one thing I didn't realize that I found out the hard way in a multiplayer game was if you even run through a poison cloud, you get poisoned. I thought maybe it was kind of like in the other XCOM games where as long as you make it through the whole thing, nothing happens. Muton blood call? I don't know. I didn't even know about that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of like a battle cry or something from Diablo 2. Whoops. And boost allies, well, of the same species, so I guess just other mutons and muton berserkers. Uh, bad times, huh? Uh, let's see. Alright, we'll give the Thin Man a shot. 900 points. Uh, let's see. I guess a couple sectoids. Let's see what happens here. So I'm right back up to 9,900. We'll give that a shot. And then um, in the third game, I'll go ahead and I'll replace these guys with, or at least I'll replace the Thin Man with another floater. We'll go ahead and try out that, uh, that launch and drop strategy. We'll see if that can work. Oh, I'm ready. Ooh, I get to go first.
All right. <clears throat> I get to start in this corner again. Let's take to the air. As usual. Yes, go up. Um, I guess I'll do Overwatch. <laughs> kind of doubt I'll need it, but you never know. Uh, let's go ahead and... Wow, you can jump that high. Nice. Poison spit. Oh, you can use that. Oh, without a target. Cool. Overwatch. Three. Man, what was going on there? I kept hitting three and I was wanting to do one. Um. Let's try this out. And cool, so it doesn't let you mine merge with more than one guy. <laughs> oh, did I seriously just run out of time? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, poop. I was like, what's going on with my mouse? What's, what's going on? Alright, I need to pay more attention. Ah, well. A little late on the on the opening there, but that's okay. Oh, that was quick. Doop -doop 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 -doop. <laughs> what did he just did he just slide into home or something? Alright. Let's actually use this ability this time. Game. Game. Here we go. Hey, I mind merging the air now. This air now has one additional health. Am I close enough? Yes. Hmm. This ought to give me a nice angle here. Sorry about that, folks. Hold on one sec. Alright. Oh no, 11 seconds. Uh, let's see. Overwatch. Dangerous thing with the sectoids doing this, though, is that if they die, the person they're mind-melding or whatever with dies, too. And that's kind of how I won that uh, impossible mission, was I think I killed four sectoids altogether doing that.
It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, don't use it on the sniper. Yeah. yeah the only time you could want to use use it on your snipers if your sectoids in a little alien alloy box. Okay. Ooh, do I want to open that? Not yet. Let's see what the floater can see. Alright. Is there a unit there? Huh. Wait, why am I not moving anywhere? Go. <laughs> oh, why? Right out in the open. Come on, game. Uh, Overwatch, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's get into a little bit better cover here. Yeah, I know. I know it doesn't cost a move point, but if I open that door, if there's anybody in there, they're gonna know I'm right there. So I kind of want to leave the element of surprise just a little bit longer. Wait, let me look at this floater real quick. Okay, he's still not getting that mind meld yet. The sectoid's still displaying it. Wait, come on. Well, actually. Ah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the heads up there on the time. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Aha. Oh my. What is that? That's a sectoid commander. So they're wanting to use some psionics. There's another one over there. It looks like he's been waiting in here for a while. So... Easy. Blah. Okay. This guy. What do I want him to do? What the? <laughs> All right. Well, that's one way to gain the advantage on your enemy. <laughs> Walk through doors. Now they won't know you went through it. Now, let's see. Can you spit without ending the turn? Um, well, I won't end my whole turn, but his turn's done. Yeah, sneaky door. Those hinges must be well-oiled. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's see. Overwatch. And I'm done. Well, there goes the floater. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Yeah, what? Firaxis, are you watching this? I made a comment about this <laughs> with someone on one, I think it's my second video, shooting through walls. And we were talking about, it really, in reality, they're poking out from cover and stuff. No. <laughs> They shot through the wall. Even if, even if they could use the line of sight stuff, he shot through the wall. <laughs> two walls. What the? Look at this. One, two. Uh, I don't remember which one it was, but maybe three. The heck. Uh, really game I clicked over there well instead of watching multiplayer we're watching a bug fest and I don't mean sectoids either goodness gracious let's just let's just end it Five percent. Sure, why not? Oh, there's why I couldn't hear anything, but... Wait. Oh, okay. I suppose there was a window. My speakers were turned down. I love this music. And here we have... <laughs> that and that. Well, apparently having a few sectoid commanders and sectoids <laughs> seems to work out pretty well. I may have to try that. I read on the forums that psionics are quite powerful if you have enough of them. Although, I also read that it was becoming so popular that people started using like mind shields and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Wait. No way. Yeah, I agree, no way. <laughs> like, I kind of want to shoot him. Does mind control ever end? Like, naturally? Naturally? 
Oh, wow, four turns. Well, my sniper is going to have to go nuts now. That's fine. Wow, four turns. That's a long time. You know, it might not be a good ice, or it might be a good strategy. I've got a visual. Oh, <laughs> it's like are they coming from the sewers now? What the heck? Um, to get uh, this sniper, but to give him or her like the best uh, pistol you can, and really abuse that double tap. You gotta be kidding me, that's game right there. Oh my god. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, they've been playing the game a while. I'll have to give this person a, a message later. Hmm. Interesting strategy there. All right. Actually, I probably could have left those. Let's go ahead and see what this ethereal can do. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, wait, I should have more points. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Alright. Yeah, that's a really interesting way to win. And what's kind of ironic is before today, I usually had uh, a mine shield on my sniper just in case. But I figured, you know, keeping the sniper in the back all the time, I shouldn't be mind controlled at all. Oh, here we go. Quick match failed. Yep. Uh, anybody up for a game? Custom matches might work. If not, I'll go ahead and show off impossible difficulty. Wow, so many disconnects. That can't be like people just quitting the game or whatever.
Am I still connected, guys? Okay. Yeah. Wait, what? How can you be ranked 43rd and not play a single game? Wait, what? Okay. Oh, uh, no, that's that's fine. Um, I just... I had a disconnect a couple weeks ago while playing a game. And I didn't know I disconnected for over an hour. <laughs> so I kept playing the game. And I was like, wow, no one's talking. Well, that's kind of weird, but yeah, maybe they're just watching. We're busy. And then I find out after I lose the game that <laughs> I only streamed for like 14 minutes or something, if that. Yeah, I played for like an hour and a half, almost two hours, but only the first, you know, a few minutes streamed. And then my network adapter decided to go out on me. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at Impossible. An Iron Man. Yeah, this is going to be insane. Two possibilities exist. You either get slaughtered or you barely get slaughtered. Cool quote. Alright, since I'm going to die anyway, it doesn't really matter where I start. I'm doing Africa in my Let's Play, so let's pick somewhere else this time. Let's start... Yeah, sure. Well, let's start in North America. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate... Yeah, I've yet to hit chrysalids on my Let's Play. Or actually, in anything. My Let's Play is the far farthest I am in the game right now. I just... I don't want to get too far ahead uh, and kind of like ruin it for myself while doing the Let's Play, like if I'm playing outside the Let's Play, but I keep trying to play on Impossible because I really want to get good at that, or get better I should say. Okay. Believe me, I'm tempted to, to play ahead in the game to experience it. Yeah, <laughs> you're right about that. I was kind of wondering how they would do that. Uh, if, you know, you had to play the game long enough to unlock multiplayer aspects or not. And, uh, well, as we learned, you don't. Alright, what do we got going here?
<laughs> All right, so there's a guy way up here. Come on, what's going on here? It seems like the game's kind of acting up. Okay, we got one up here. Alright, no cover there. Holy cow. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Hmm. <laughs> in no way in real life would someone choose two windows to jump through. When they look look at that. Is this an episode of Family Guy or something? <laughs> what is this? Sectoids, guess where we're at? Oh, I know. As soon as I saw that bunch of sectoids in there, I was like, ooh, grenades. Yeah, there's the 100% shot from that sectoid. Oh, hey, the panic killed one, though. That's shocking. Okay. How far can I toss this thing? Not very far. Ouch. Nothing. What was that? Well, he's probably dead. Of course, now they're all within grenade range. Unfortunately, because I use that grenade, I can't kill those guys. Unless this guy over here can get up there, but I don't know.
Okay, where's my movement here? Okay, thank you, game. Easy. If I can still shoot at him if I move here. Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah, he might. That's dunk. At least he's dead. Alright, I'm not gonna trust the sixty per seven or sixty sixty seven percent shot. Sixty two percent and it's more <laughs> More wide open. And you missed. <laughs> oh, folks. You're witnessing it right here. Wow, we lived. Until now. Well. Let's see. That didn't even face the sectoid. Sectoid's like, I didn't see anything. GG. Full cover from what? Yeah, back it up there. You don't want none of this. Yeah, I knew that was coming. It's killing time. <clears throat> What's making that noise? Got 
Come on down, sectoids. Obviously, the store is open. So we just jump through every single window, just about. Okay. Oh, uh, Quantana, no, this isn't multiplayer. I was doing some quick matches, and then uh, it decided to stop working. So I couldn't do any more quick matches, and no one else wanted to try games. So I go ahead and I figured I'd show off uh, some impossible Iron Man. Yeah, these sectoids aren't even moving right now. Hmm. Yeah, impossible lives up to its name. I mean, it's... It's not impossible, but it's right next to it, I think. And it's, there's so much luck involved that, I mean, it's, uh, I, that's how it makes it so hard. You know, you could have, uh, like I've said before, I think in video two or something, I had four soldiers shoot at one sectoid, each one with 45% chance to hit, and each one missed. I mean, you just, you can't compete with numbers like that. You gotta be kidding me. Two with one shot. Hey, how about that? <laughs> Last guy alive is Sean Claude. You don't say. Shoot me through the wall, please. <laughs> Ooh, can I start shooting through here now? Nice. I'll take that. No, you're not. <laughs> like a cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That guy was going kind of nuts there. Let's see if multiplayer's back up. Haha, -ha, quick quick match failed. Ah.
ranked matchmaking failed. Uh, apparently, multiplayer's down, folks. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean, Zaren. I was kind of disappointed when I learned you automatically get uh, a certain build uh, set up once you gained a level. We should get down there and die. I mean, kill or something. Strike one. This is central. You are free yeah, snipers are pretty good. Don't take any chances. Okay. So not quite the same map. Looks almost similar though. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's just run here anyway. Oh, that reminds me of some other bugs I saw. I was doing a map on Impossible, and I had a soldier stop at, see, I think it was a ladder on the back of a truck, but it was on the ground where I had him stop, and when I stopped and got ready to shoot, he, like, warped up to the top of the truck, and I was like, well, no, that's going to negate cover. I was like, these bugs, what's going on? And like shadows going through walls and stuff. Well, if you were alone, we wouldn't have sent you here. Okay, so they're right there. I think we're going to utilize some cover here and minimize... Um, whatchamacallit? Avenues of attack. <laughs> These two were like, wait, what was that? What was that? Oh, we spotted somebody. Twenty five percent. I'd love it. Damn it. Oh, yeah. You're dead. That's what you get from... Oh, no. That's what you get from missing. There you go. Shouldn't have killed another one? Ah, maybe not. They might have ended it on that turn. You're dead. <laughs> oh, 
All Stars. Please, world, give us your best soldiers. We need to fight the aliens. No longer a threat. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I hope you have a med kit. Oh, you don't? Oh, you just started the game? Oh. Well, they're dead. You're about to get hit by some green. What was that sound? <laughs> Is that purple smoke coming out of them? Oh my gosh. So those of you that haven't witnessed impossible difficulty before, what do you think so far? Is there no cover right there? Really? I don't think we're alone out here. Yeah, and, and you know what's crazy is I tried Impossible, I think, yeah, I tried Impossible before I started doing my classic Let's Play, and the classic felt like it was a walk in the park, it was just a piece of cake. It's like, I, I really don't want to try anything below classic because of the the feeling I have between classic and Iron Man, or uh, impossible. It just, it, I mean, it'd be, I guess, a little entertaining, but I think it'd be a little too easy. Contact. Nope. Here they come. I love how the aliens get to have a full turn during my turn as soon as I see him. I've actually I've actually seen aliens let's see I've seen them during my turn and then they like they scatter and then that little scene happens and then they run again. It's like they have two turns during mine. Can I blow something up? Actually, no, I'm not going to waste a grenade on one guy. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm glad they won't slaughter you trying to or seeing you that first time. Got over here. Yep. Oh, see, there you go. Now they're gonna scare you off again. Shoot me through the wall. Let's get this over with. Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, I love it. Uh, let's see if multiplayer's back up. Guys, give me a heads up. Well, actually, I don't even know if custom match is working. Oh, we're creating an online game. Well, I'll be. Anybody want to play a game? Yeah, I had to fill out the rest of my unit with something. And uh, I didn't want a, a super rookie soldier. All right, Tomda, we'll go ahead and get a game going. Uh, let's see, I'll have to add you to Steam, though. Let's see. So, uh, what's your Steam name? Oh, I don't think... whoops. Is that I-L at the end? Alright, we're searching. Oh, hey, I can install Steam if I want. Wait a second. This feature's not available at the time? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, it is. This is crazy. That's true. All right, I guess we'll we'll do that. Oh, I've already got someone in here. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. All right, so All right. Oh no, no, you and I are going to play 
um, someone else <laughs> came into the game that I was creating. All right, so it's going to be 10,000 points, public, 120 seconds, bar. All right, here I go. Now I think about it, that name sounded familiar. I wonder if I played that person before. Huh. That's weird. Oh man, I wonder if that's Steam or XCOM. That really stinks. Well, this is uh, turning out to be a little more trouble than I thought it was. Do you uh, do you want to try to make a game, and then I'll see if I can join up? All right. Okay. I'm not seeing it either. That's crazy. <laughs> no games found now. Oh, okay. You know, I'm kind of wondering if that's the case. I was just thinking about that. You know what? I think they do have a separate server. And if that's the case, that would really, really stink. <laughs> Racist. 
Oh, I finally found you here, though. Let's try this. I right, tried ad adding you as a friend. Okay. So now... Let's see if this can get us through. I don't think that's you. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. That really stinks. Dang. Well, that puts a big damper on the uh, live streaming I wanted to do every weekend. I was really hoping to be able to stream and, you know, game with you guys. Man, that's really crazy. I wonder if... I'll have to look it up, but I wonder if there's a way to get around this. I'm kind of doubting it, though. If they've, if they've got it set up in this much detail already. Man. Well, I guess I can go back to doing some Hmm. Well, I did try to do a custom game. Oh. This person's not even doing anything. All right. Um Yeah, I, I guess I guess I'll go back to doing unranked matches. That really stinks. Cool, Tomda. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's really weird they would do something like that. I mean, this game was a like a worldwide success, or the you know the original. People all around the world wanted this game remade. No, I said three. Alright, what are we doing here? I said we post up right here and wait for him to come.
Why does it keep doing that? Yeah, cars. All right, game. Three, three. Yeah, multiplayer is versus only. That'd be really awesome if they had co-op in here, though. <laughs> 